Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So for today's vegan taste test, it's going to be a voiceover. I got this over at Trader Joe's. There's several ways on how to cook it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick option number one. And that is one cup of water. And then what you're going to do is you are going to add that whole sauce pack into the pan of water and then let it simmer a little bit. And then after that, you're going to end up adding the rice cakes to it. And along with this, I am going to be making rice and chickpeas. and that is more like it. So I'm also going to add a little bit of plant spire to this. This is a curry and barbecue flavor. I did a vegan taste test on this. This was absolutely outstanding. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So guys, listen, this was really really good so it had a very good spicy and sweetness to it the sauce was plentiful and it coated every single rice cake there was now let me tell you about the texture um i am a texture person i'm someone who loves mushrooms this had a little bit of bounciness to it if i could go back and redo it i'm gonna be honest with you I think I would have made them crispy. Now there is a completely different uh, direction on how to make these crispy. There, your options are there. These, these were a little bit more chewy the way I cooked them. They came out really, really chewy. I don't mind it because I do, I do like that kind of texture anyways. But I think for the next time I make it, I'm gonna end up making it crispy. Uh, compared to my plant-inspired Korean barbecue flavor um, meats, uh, those were already chewy. So I think this this plate was missing something that was a little bit more of a crisp to it. So anyways, would I buy it again? Absolutely. I would definitely go back to Trader Joe's and buy a few more packets of this because this all together, guys, was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.